Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here you go, we're going to keep working on this this nice little, um, what do you call it? Uh, they had problems with this in the last video too, the, the damn texture selector um, and the sidebar, right? So we made it hide, but one thing we, we couldn't do yet is implement the key time thing so i was thinking i was thinking there is a key time thing for the update for the drop down list but i think it updates it itself yeah it's updating it itself i know editor state has a key time um but that's not gonna work so we're gonna have to make one for for that so i'm just gonna steal it here from the drop down list it's gonna steal the whole function. Go in here uh, to the texture selector, and I'm gonna put it at the top. I'm pretty sure because it's a private function. Um, and then I'm just gonna say texture selector, and then we will create the the things. Uh, here we go. Float key time float key time max and we're just gonna define that function as well or not define it um, there you go just write it down here functions private functions um, da, 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 da. should it be private though I'm not sure I'm not sure is it private on the other one no, it's public. You know what? We could just get key time. It's called get key time. We could just do it public here. Get key time. And then put it. Wait, that is update key time. Let's steal that as well. Update key time. Where are you? Am I blind, dude? Oh, no. Here it is. Right below. Okay. So get key time, update key time. And the get key time, let's steal that as well. Get key time. Okay, so it's right here, get key time. And where was the update key time? Right there, okay. So I just stole that, I'm just gonna put it in texture selector. Uh, uh, under this all this stuff, so there you go, get key time is in. Very simple. I'm just gonna take this update key time and put it below, uh, right where the update function is. So functions update, boom, update key time, and then we'll just call it this update key time, and we'll send in dt right there. That means we have to send in dt here as well. Const float reference dt. Okay, so there you go. Um, also put that in the H file, of course, right there. Boom. No, what am I doing? Update right there. Okay. There you go. Boom. Easy peasy. So once we have that, uh, we should be able to call the update key time. Now let's just make sure we send in DT where it should be in the editor state right here. This DT. Oh, it's called Dell. What? This still? Da. Are you serious? Are you serious? No, this is editor GUI. What? Wait, 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 wait. Update. Update. Okay, so I need to send that in to update GUI. Of course. Of course I do. Like that, and then DT. Surf all the steps, uh, but you gotta do it. So we gotta go to update GUI here, and we gotta just put in that cons flow DT right there. Not too hard, right? Not too hard. And then we'll update that GUI, and we'll be fine. Now inside we can do this, and and this get key time, and we'll see if if that works or not. If we wanted to use the outside the editor states get key time, remember we just it just returns a boolean so we could have a little boolean thing in here um, 
which would get a true or false from the outside from editor state and then uh, we could use that but this just makes it easier for us for each texture selector to have its own key time value updating so it's not too big of a deal it's just a little float um, for a few buttons it doesn't really matter uh, and we'll just update them when the mouse is inside the sidebar anyway so there you go very simple very simple so once we do that and I run this hopefully yeah there you go hopefully we won't be able to spam that button now uh, if it worked all right let's go debug mode debug time oh shit what the oh shit okay debug time error list uh, drop down list get key time oh oh wait um texture selector you belong to texture selector there we go now we should see and we're gonna fix all these warnings as well don't worry there we go okay um i can still spam it though that's strange that is strange shouldn't be able to uh, I forgot the key time max, so I'm just going to see what the key time max is for drop down list. Um, wherever it is. Wait, where is it? Key time max is 1. Okay, key time max is 1. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go back to here. And let's just do key time max as 1.f key time as 0.f right so you go that is the initializer list and that means that we can make key time max into a constant where is it key time max a constant there you go that shouldn't this shouldn't be any big problems uh, and it, it's 1.f so now it should work no more problems Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Now I can't spam it. There you go. Boom. 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 Easy peasy. All right. No problems. No problems. There you go. So now let's go ahead and make the sidebar. Um, ba, 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 ba. We could make it a GUI element. But we could also just make it a rectangle shape. Uh, so where do we have all the texture rec selector rec tile map? button so let me just make a sometimes it's easier not to have a class for everything uh, side no rectangle shape sidebar no what am I doing sidebar okay and that's what we're gonna do there you go and okay so once we have that sidebar we can create it uh, if we just go into editor state and then initialize where should we put it initialize GUI probably yeah uh, this sidebar dot set size start with size um, let's see SF uh, vector 2f so the size should be this state data Um, GFX settings, what do we have in here? Resolution. Uh, dot height. Holy shit, that's a long ass. That's a long ass thing. Static cast float. Maybe this will work. I'm not sure. Is this where I keep the resolution? Uh, okay, and then with the size, the width will be maybe 80.f. Okay, well that makes sense. We'll just see if that works. This sidebar dot uh, set fill color sf color. Um, we should probably have it pretty dark. 50, 50. And then maybe 
pretty transparent as well, maybe 100. And then this sidebar dot set outline color SF color. It should be a little brighter. 200, 200, and then maybe 150. This sidebar. The last thing here, set outline thickness. We'll just set it to 1F. No, this is get. Come on. Okay, there we go. So once we set that, it should it should at least be visible. So let's just render that, and it should be at the left part of the screen. Um, render GUI right here. So I'll render it at the end of everything. Target draw this sidebar. All right, and then we'll put that in. Like that editor, and we have our little little sidebar here. See that? That's that's pretty nice. And then we can just place the button properly wherever we want to place it. Uh, but if I press it, then we're good. So let's just implement that quickly. How much time do we have? All right, we're good. We have some time. So let's just implement that. So when we're updating the GUI, update GUI right here. Um, cursor text, texture selector. Uh, da, 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 let's see. That's all fine. Update buttons is fine. Where should I put that? Uh, texture selector, get active. Okay. And probably in here. And this mouse plus window. So if the sidebar, let's see, if the sidebar can get glow. Oh, this is going to be a long ass one. Contains this mouse position window. Okay. Oof, okay. And then, oh, it's even longer. Holy shit, vector. Oh, man. Oh, man. Vector 2F. Oh, my God. There we go. Okay. So, if it's not in the sidebar and the texture selector is not active, then you can do all this stuff. Um, and the same thing, I guess. But it's good. We can just copy paste this. And the same thing for that. So let's just try this before we end. And that should be fine. At least we have a sidebar type thing. It doesn't look that good, but you know, at least it works. Okay, so now I can't paint in there, but I can paint here. All right, but I can't paint in there. Can't remove those either. So that's good. That's really nice. That's very, very good. Uh, and then I can just select that, remove that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I want to select the blue one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that wasn't really the blue one. This should be the blue one. No, for some reason. Uh, okay. Oh, that's because when I click that, it actually sets it to zero. Okay, I gotta probably fix that as well. Um, right there. So let's just put it in there. You know what we could do? We could do an if statement around the whole thing. Then we don't have to have it twice. So if because both of these are kind of dependent on this. So there you go. I hate big long if statements like this, but you got to do it. So let's just do that. And once that's done, we just copy this thing, put it in here, remove this, and put a and in curly brace right there and we should be good so none of this is gonna work or we could put it around the whole thing you know what doesn't really matter just do it like this now it and I probably won't yeah now it's not bugging with that so now that's working so I'll say I want to get some grass maybe make some grass around this shit there you go 
that's nice that's working all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to implement a little view so we can move the view around in the world and uh, and yeah maybe get some text up here or something that says you know some information about the map so what we're doing basically um so let me just try to remove stuff here no okay that's good it's working all right so yeah that's probably what we're gonna do so thanks for sticking with me i know these gui videos can be boring sometimes and drawn out but uh but yeah at least it teaches you how to kind of work with these elements um and we'll see how we'll see how we'll work with this later so there you go thank you so much for sticking with me take care keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye